Hello my wolf pack! Welcome back to Command Wolf Gaming, I'm CWG and welcome to another episode of Space Crew. I discovered something! <laughs> now if I go to crew gear, right, I can actually change the look of my uh, people here. Um, I, I, I was actually playing off screen a bit because I want to see uh, well, kind of like level up everything a little bit more. In fact, I can do actually kind of like some <laughs> uh, detailing here with my characters so I can change them up a, a little bit and I can actually get some aliens on my crew. As you can see here, I got a couple aliens um, on my crew as well as, you know, normal people here, whatever, right? So I just kind of like randomly generated a couple of these, just kind of like close my eyes and click, 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 click. So whatever I got, I got. So um, I managed to upgrade my ship a bit more. So I went over and I actually, again, played this game a little bit more, a couple more missions, not something super high. Um, so I managed to upgrade all of our heavy armor to the level two armor systems. Um, we still have the second stage uh, shield from before, and I think the uh, oh yeah, I changed up this weapon. The reason why I changed up the front weapon, I found out that this cannon right here, you gotta manually change it, and in the middle of battle, I don't want to be dealing with that. So just kind of, I just decided to leave it on the plasma cannons uh, because I think that's gonna be the most suitable. Um, now, as for equipment, everything else is pretty much the same. I think the only other thing I upgraded is actually the medical bay, which I haven't had a, a need for it as of yet, but it's always uh, good to have. Uh, now, if we actually go to the missions, um, I actually went and killed uh, one of the phasmid uh, bounties um, on a actually a very low risk mission I went in I uh, was doing a low risk mission and it happens to it happened to do that so what I wanted to do since we kind of like upgraded our ship and everything I want to actually try this escort mission and see uh, what we can get from it I know it says 2250 that's really not much but uh, I kind of want to set that out defend the freighter at all cost sweet Okay, I'm charging to. Oh, wait. Uh, let me go over here. Let me defend this. We got incoming enemies. As soon as we see uh, some enemies, I'll actually put focus fire on to uh, defend this freighter. <coughs> nope. Apparently, they spotted it before I did. Go. I think I used the focus fire a little too early. Okay, cool. Oh. So we got another enemy ship coming in. I told my captain to do a defensive uh, posture. We gotta maintain this freighter. In fact, actually I might put in offensive to kind of uh, have our guy go at the ships a bit. Using your crew skills is key. Yes, I know, thank you. What are you telling me to do? I am not doing overdrive here. You basic piloting up. Oh, that's great and all, but uh, don't forget to try out your new skills. I don't want to try out my new skills. That overdrive is going to kill my crew. Not worth it. 
Focus fire, focus fire. Okay, good, 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 good. I gotta get over to here. Gotta get ready to char uh, go to the asteroid belt. All right, we gotta call in some fighter support. Uh, defensive posture. Get onto the freighter. Oh, I didn't mean to go that far. Okay. All right, so we are gonna kick these into overdrive. Even though it is, it's going to increase the weapon's effectiveness, but our guys are going to get radiation poison. Come on, guys, you can do this. Okay. Stop that. We do have slight radiation poisoning, but that's uh, fine. I'll get these guys patched up as soon as I can. Focus fire. Focus fire. Go. Stop. All right, I'm stopping those early so that uh, gives us a chance to uh, recuperate that. Oh, we got Phasmid forces uh, attacking us. Focus fire, focus fire. We dealt with the radiation. Oh god, uh, looks like our shields are damaged, so I gotta fix this. Okay, that's being repaired right now. Good. Ah! Shields are weakened, but not destroyed, so we're good. And we're on a di att uh, attack. You can do it. You only got a couple left. The line is in the back. Overdrive! Short bursts of overdrive is fine as long as we don't go crazy with it because we can actually poison our crews from radiation. I might actually get uh, some uh, radiation suits to put down. Okay, so we can t return to base now. I'm actually going to patch it up and uh, we'll start working our way to base. So, uh, shields down, gravity up. Is anybody else hurt? No, I don't think anybody's hurt. I'm going to keep shields up though. Yeah. 
We do got aliens coming in. Thankfully, we have our uh, guys ready here. That guy doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Still that weapon. Ah, oh, I didn't get to the guy, unfortunately. This stinks. Well, I was ill prepared for that one, but that's fine. I should have called in fighter support right away. Why didn't I do that? Oh well. well. We'll get him next time. We'll get that bounty next time. Ah, home sweet home. Now it did take me a bit to get back. I actually took a, a little bit of a tour around to try to get more experience points because that's how you gain experience points by killing Phasmid courses. So. I didn't get this guy. That was unfortunate. I wish I had focus fire as well as overdrive, but that's besides the point. And everybody gets level up. Nice. Look at all that experience. Very good. Performance and analyze the performance of the crew increased XP gain for a short duration. Nice. Temporarily increase the effectiveness of the ship's shield, but will cause the shield generator to leak radiation for some time after. Ooh. Drastically increase the uh, speed of charging for hyperspace while enemies are present. Okay. I usually don't use that. Light armored enforcement all full a full mask which protects the wearer from radiation somewhat to contain a small personal oxygen supply. That's cool. High capacity shield, fast charge shields, plasma. Uh, cannon plus auto, uh, cannon MK2. Alright, so let's just check out the crew gear right now. Um, because I am interested in that. Let's just, I'm just gonna go to her real quick. So right now I have this Os Oxygen Mask MK1. It gives me 40 oxygen. Doesn't really give me anything else. Does it, this. So this will give me, um, 5 radiation in 30. 15 oxygen and wait I can cycle colors no okay so that might be f for the best especially since I have to deal with radiation not a lot of radiation some radiation what is this one full face environment mask which protects the wearer from radiation it contains a mid-sized personal oxygen tank mm, I really want that one I think probably this one will be for the best for now overall so I'm gonna equip that to everyone uh, let's see here. So we got to uh, do. Wait, what? This looks like it gives better armor. A slightly improved armored suit. It provides adequate protection without restricting the wear too much. Okay, cool. So, and that's. It doesn't really give us anything extra besides what we already have. But I'll equip it anyway on all the office, uh, all the other officers. Um, let's see, we got training now. What's training? This crew room in here, you can review the skills that your crews are acquired. Okay, cool. Once a crew uh, member reaches a certain level, you can train them with a secondary skill. Alright, so, um, I do want to train some guys with secondary skills. Uh, let's see here. I kind of want to do... Let me think. I want to do this in the secondary skill comms engineer i want to do weapons officer as a secondary skill and the reason why i want to do weapons officer is so that we can get better of uh, uh firing all around so basically i can get do focus fire all around and same thing with th him i do want to do weapons officer um i do want to do the comms officer as a um oh i can't do that I'll do him as a security officer, the comms officer, right? And I'll do these guys as a uh, client is usually in the back. Martin's in the front. So I might want to do a monitor and ship reactor. 
I'll do Martin in front as a mechanic, Klein as a security officer, and then Lee, Lee, oh god, Lee can do everything, right? I'll do as a comms officer. I think that would be for the best, right? So then we got all total coverage, at least one of every other person. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the spacecraft real quick. I want to take a look at what we have now. Uh, we got weapons. I can upgrade to this one, which might be for the best. Honestly, it might be for the best if I do it on the back one. Wait, did I never upgrade the auto cannons? I never upgraded the auto cannons. Then I'm going to do that now. So, you, and then you get... Oh, I can't afford it. But I can't afford it this one with the plasma. Right, I'm just going to spend it on that. Unfortunately, I don't have enough cash for another one. So I think next time here on Commando of Gaming, we're going to be taking a look at doing some of the um, high risk stuff like this. Reco recover comps probe uh, for more cash because I think that, honestly, these don't really pay out that well. These are actually very, very poor. Um, so I guess I'm just going to would have to save up for what I need need um anyway i want to go i'm gonna wrap it up today folks i want to thank everyone for tuning in today here on coming wolf gaming hope you enjoyed the footage uh did you guys know about 95 percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet that's right 95 uh percent of you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet so make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below all the subscriptions help out the channel and like i always say folks like subscribe and share spread the love and hope to see you next time here on command wolf gaming bye bye now <laughs>